hi guys welcome back to Android tutorial in this part I'm going to explain how to create a notification in Android programmatically so just open up the Eclipse here I just created a new project called a notification project you can see it from here I just create a new project called a notification project here is the main activity of that project uh, in that activity you can see there is only one text text view is present here uh, I just delete that text view uh, I just now I am going to add a button here and change the text for the button as display notification also change the ID of the button as notify okay here is the button display notification uh, now I am going to create another activity for displaying the details of the notification so in the SRC folder just right click the package and select the new option and choose a new class I just uh, name the class as view notification and click finish here is the class is generated also I am going to create layout for the layout for displaying details of the notification so choose the Android XML file it is a layout file and name it as view notification layout okay now I got a second XML file called the uh, notification view notification layout.xml uh, in that file there is nothing in that XML file I just add uh, a text view here uh, change the text as here is the notification details okay uh, now I have to extend activity for this view notification class extends extends activity now I have to override the method on create on create now I have to set the content view for the activity set content view r dot layout dot view notification layout okay fine it is an this activity actually shows the details of the notification so I have to create an object of notification manager class here so now I am going to create a notification ma object of notification manager class here and num is equal to get system service it is the notification service okay there is you need to cast the notification manager here okay I just create an object of the notification manager class here 
now I have to if the user cancel the notification so we have to cancel the notification here so just using the object I just cancel the notification cancel so just I got the intent object here I have to go the intent object here dot get x class dot get int I just specify the notification ID as a key here notification ID the notification ID is actually used to cancel a notification that we are already generated okay that's enough for this class file uh, in this project I just uh, here I just create another here is the main activity class I just create a new Java class file called the view notification Java also I just create another XML file that contain a simple text field now I have to invoke this notification using the notification manager and notification class instance of notification class okay guys that's enough for this section thank you for watching in the next part I just continuing with the next part continuing with the uh, remaining part of this tutorial Okay guys, thank you for watching. See you in the next part.